the scale of this is immense. 1.27 a.m., the ship slams into the brig. The whole bridge just fell down. Start, start, is, whoever, everybody, the whole bridge just collapsed. The vessel itself is 900 feet. At the center span of the bridge that collapsed was 1,100 feet. It looks, you know, like it's a small toy or something like that. As you get closer, you realize that these are hundreds of feet above the waterline. And there's so much more beneath the waterline. The Port of Baltimore is the ninth largest port in the U.S. in dollar value, handling $80 billion worth of foreign cargo in 2023. Baltimore is the leading port for automobiles, farming and construction equipment, sugar, and gypsum. The Francis Scott Key Bridge was a vital transportation link in the Baltimore region, with more than 30,000 vehicles crossing the bridge daily. The United States Coast Guard has had authority over bridges in the United States since 1915. Today, the Coast Guard enforces navigation regulations and helps ensure the safety and security of maritime traffic passing under and near those structures. The Key Bridge collapse not only impacted the Port of Baltimore, but also caused cascading effects across American ports. A unified command was established as part of the National Response Framework to coordinate a multi-agency search and rescue and recovery response. We have six members in the unified command that represent different agencies from the Coast Guard, to the Army Corps of Engineers, to state entities. The Unified Command is very important to getting this response taken care of. This was a, a human tragedy. We have over 200 Coast Guard people uh, at the incident performing various roles to the response. It started as a search and rescue case for us. Then it kind of turned into uh, a recovery piece with Maryland State Police. And then we kind of rolled into salvage operation. One salvage operation is removing wreckage from the federal channel. Uh, that's a core Army Corps responsibility, so they're executing that mission. Second, we have the removal of the dolly. And third, we have wreckage removal outside the channel. We have a battle rhythm. We know generally what's happening day to day. And to actually see the progress, it's amazing that uh, such agencies that are so different can come together and really make this happen as fast as as fast as they have. So we're getting really great support uh, from our elected officials, people bringing food uh, to the command post. We have kids sending cards to us, which is really encouraging. It really allows us to uh, get things done that need to get done.